We are following breaking news this afternoon. A shooting investigation is underway in Chula Vista after a driver shot and killed another driver in broad daylight. It's our top story here on the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Marcella Lee in for Carlo Chiquetto today. It happened near Broadway and East Street just before 10 o'clock this morning. Officers have been out there all day long gathering evidence and talking to witnesses. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal has also been out there and joins us with the very latest. Kelly. That's right, and at this hour, police are still searching for the suspect in this case, but I did just learn some new information minutes ago. Police telling me that the suspect and the victim both got out of their cars here in front of this Jiffy Lube here behind me. Uh, there was some sort of fight, and then the suspect pulled out a gun and fired. Now, we still don't know if this was random or if the two men knew each other. Uh, the victim's car was towed away a couple hours ago. Now, I spoke to some neighbors at the complex uh, right next door who say they heard the gunfire. How many gunshots did you hear? Two, two low ones. It was like a big, a big bang, bang. It was very loud because they were right next to my window. And another neighbor shared cell phone video she took as emergency crews arrived on scene and tried to save the victim. Police tell us he was in his 30s, a Hispanic man, a Chula Vista resident, and he was shot multiple times, and sadly he died. Now, this all took place near Broadway and E Street. Uh, the victim's car, a black Nissan Altima. His personal belongings were still out here when officers arrived. His wallet was on the hood. His cell phone was plugged inside his car. Uh, you could also see a couple of shell casings uh, just feet away from his vehicle. Police say they don't know why he was shot and again just minutes ago we learned there was some sort of fight that happened in the middle of the road was this a road rage incident uh, we just don't know right now officers are not releasing the victim's name until his family has been notified investigators spent hours gathering evidence talking to witnesses they're asking anyone who may have information about this shooting to come forward the vehicles would have been coming from our east side so basically going westbound on east street you know, uh, towards the freeway, if you will. So yeah, if somebody saw something a little bit further down, you know, east of Broadway, please keep that in mind. If you think it's even remotely related, now, the vehicle that police are searching for is a four-door sedan, a silver, gray in color, uh, possibly a Nissan. Uh, they, again, they say that the suspect took off headed westbound on E Street uh, toward the freeway. They are asking anybody with information to call Crime Stoppers. Marcella and Heather. Well, Kelly, I do want to ask you because there is that Jiffy Lube, and of course, this is a very busy street. What about surveillance video? Do we know if any of these businesses had cameras and were police able to access them? Well, that is definitely something we asked about today, and police said, yeah, they're trying to get surveillance video. As you mentioned, the Jiffy Lube here behind us uh, does have a camera pointed toward the street, pointed toward the area where the shooting took place. Uh, there are also several uh, cameras at the intersection right over here, so it's certainly something police are looking into and uh, something that could be crucial in this investigation. That would be wonderful if they had that video evidence. Uh, we know you'll keep on top of the story. Thanks so much, Kelly.